Ahoy shipmates! Today Griff and Beast have sent me a nice warlord to play with. He's the Arthur Pen Dragon miniature. That's like Dux Britannialorum. Their website. Um, really good. One I've done so far is stuck them together is quite easy. The head comes with one piece with a cloak which sits onto the body, body sits onto a horse, and the hand and sword were separate. So not a lot. So it's some mould lines off. Stuck him on the base. I've Xenophore highlighted like I usually do, but I've instead of a grey I've used a white. So I wanted it to be a little bit brighter. So you see it's bright from the top. Then it is the bottom. Okay, so we're going to do some various things with him. I'm going to put stills in like I usually do. So let's get cracking. First up, we can use a nice dark grey necromancer cloak. Give a shake, put it on our wet palette. Put these to one side and then I'll take a still of them for the end. Okay, using the army paint a base coat and brush. Just dip it in some of my medium. I'm just gonna get that nice and thin. Mm, that's not camera. So what I want is, I'm just going to come and cover, what you want here is a nice thin bit of paint, almost make the paint translucent, we're using our undershade from Hi, a thinner base coat. Okay, well, I'll come back to you when I've done that. Okay, so I've just done the coat of the dark grey. Next one wants a cloak. Now I'm going to put a bit of matte black on my palette. I'm just going to move, mix a very dark grey. I'm not going to use pure black at the moment. Keep everything thin today. Everything can blend. Right, so now I'm going to go around the hoof, top of the hoof, so I start the leg. I'm going to make the front dark. Top of the tail. I'm not gonna do all of the tail because I'm gonna try and blend that out. Lower leg, I'm gonna really start darkening out now. Not 
because I'm, I'm using quite thinned out paint, we should get some nice smooth blending. And of course, this is going anywhere where there's a lot of shadows, so we're going to run it under there. Okay, well, I'll come back to you in just a tick and I'll run this black out. See you in a minute. Okay, so that was the darkening down. So now I'm going to use some ash grey and start picking out a few of the highlights. I'm going to spread this out a little bit. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of our starting grey just to darken it down a bit. Uses a bit of a blend. There we go. Uh, nice and watery. Twist your brush. So I'm just going to pick out some higher bits. This grey is fairly similar. Leave his nose quite dark. Leave his crevices dark as well. I'm not going to dry brush with it, it's a similar skill to dry brush on the tail, uh, over brush if you like. And I'm just going to carry on working around. Leave the bottom of the legs as they are, the knees. dark out it and we come back in it's still a bit wet on there but it's fine it's not exactly a wet blend but as soon as we're blending it's a little bit hard to see because uh, these lights do tend to make white pigment glow up a little bit get it in the light box as well Using the edge of the brush there just to pick the very high points out. We get the ears. Okay. Go back to our pure black. Then this is just army painter matte black. I'm just gonna 
during the hooves. You can do this last, but let's have a look what we how we're going, how we got. This is my view of a lap into that dark grey. Look up a little bit on his nose to take that shadowing right down. If you've got a good point on your brush, it's alright. I'm just going to drop some black over the eye. I've got some dark grey over it already, so I'm just reinforcing that. Now I'm going to put a bit around the base of his tail. Water it down a little bit. So it's almost like a black wash. And I'm just going to come around the bottom of these grey bits. Okay. Cool. And. I'm going to put the dapples on next, so I'm going to break the video while I grab a paint, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to start the, establishing the dapples. I'm going to use this one, Spaceship Exterior. It's a very, very light grey, almost white. And what I'm going to do is I've grabbed the brush out of my old brush, and as you can see, The point's gone. So what we do, we just load up with some paint, take the first couple of dabs into that sponge, and we're going to concentrate on the areas we want this dappling effect. So we're going to use this to just stipple. Going up the back of the neck there, across the big flat parts of the shoulder, just get a bit more, take some of the paint off, get some onto his flanks. See where the point's gone, you can see, hope you can see that. Get that kind of random effect going on. I'll put that one back over there, finish with that one. And I'm just going to get one of the detail brushes and I'm going to go with the same colour. I'm just going to put a few more defined ones on top of the areas where I've done the patches. I hope you can see this. I'll make sure it comes to the camera in a sec. Is making always check here yeah. if you're not sure if you think you've overloaded your brush, it's always worth 
give it a dab on something first to make sure. So you dab it on there and dab it on the miniature. Okay, I'm going to crack on with that. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so next I'm going to start on the cloak and the coat. I'm going for Abomination Red. Uh, sorry, Abomination Gore. It's very dark red. Ding, again. I'm going to open it down a bit. Nice thin cone. So I want that under shade to show through. I want it to work for us. I'm going to carry on with that so this video don't get too long. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now I'm just going to get some of this. This is a fur brown. I'm not going to start on the uh, strapping, that's the red still drying. Just a little bit of uh, medium to get it going. Nice and neat. Got all these army painter paints from uh, Griffin Beast. to bought the big set of them. And, uh, yeah. I've heard a lot of people say everyone's got their favourite paints and stuff. I've got no qualms about army painter. They work, but you have to shake them like mad. I've got a electric shaker that does it. Once they once you've got them shaken up and they're working fine, it's pretty easy to keep them going. Carry on with that, and we'll see you again in a minute. Okay, so we've done the strap in, one in that brown, and I've just gone and laid some of that uh, darker red just into the recesses the, of the cloak, which is like can be drying. Now, whilst that's doing that, I'm gonna get some. Barbarian flesh. Lay down my best coat of uh, flesh colour. Yeah, I'll just thin it down just a little bit. So much good detail in this miniature, you don't want to lose any of it. So 
So hopefully you've seen some more of my videos. Um, get a few on there now. It's lovely the support Griffin Beast are giving me. So if you can uh, give it all a like and a subscribe and stuff, that'd be great. Thanks again for them sending me this lovely stuff to paint up to show you guys. Really enjoying that. So yeah, there we go. Just lay that base fresh. But what I'm looking for in this miniature really is a a nice kind of I suppose high tabletop, better than tabletop. Uh, I call it like a high tabletop. So I'm not going for out and out speed. I'm looking to get some nice shades and all that sort of stuff going. Okay, so that's the base colour for my flesh. So always for that, I'll just drop some metallic on his chainmail. Little gun metal. I like to swap out brushes now because metallics does do them in. Then I just thin it out just a little tad. This chamber could be like a scale well I don't know. So you could paint it like a leather sort of the mellow caress, I suppose, that sort of look to it. But it also looks good as chainmail as well, so whatever floats your boat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do with this metallic. I'm going to go back over it in a minute with some uh, black wash just to tone it all down. I think I'll pop it over the helm as well. Even if you want the helm to be like a more bronzy or etc. You can always go over this metallic. Scabbard, mm, not forgetting that sword. It's not the medieval uh, scabbard, is it? It's more the uh, Roman gladius kind of style. It's a really interesting description that they've got on their website. And why they've gone for this look. I won't try and quote for it because I, I don't remember it all, but I could give it a read. Okay. This is that ruined brush I used earlier for the dappling. To save brushes for stuff like this, you get be careful, good enough point on them to just need to put your metallics on. 
which makes the next brush last a bit longer. There's a bit, missed a bit of a strap in there. I'll go back for that in a sec. Okay, I shall come back to you. Okay, next, we're going to have a look at his shirt and the saddle cloth. I'm going to go for sort of a linen type of look on those. So I'm going to go start off with a base of Banshee Brown. And thin it out a little bit. This is kind of like a khaki sort of colour, I suppose. And usually, when I do cavalry, I like I paint the horse and the rider separate. But I wanted to do the video of painting them on board. Either, whatever. It's your preference, really. with that and uh, see you on the next colour okay next I'm going to do his boots his legging things the basilisk brown this has got kind of a, that light leathery look A stab by the mat as well. It's a bit yellow at the moment, but we'll come back over that with uh, some brown wash in a minute. So that's what we do. dry off for a minute and then we come back and we'll put some wash over it so I'll see you in a minute okay I'll just grab some oak brown what I'm gonna do is um I don't know what the name of it is for kilt I don't know I'm keeping it nice and thin so then the coat shows through. I'm going to do his leg wrapped for this as well. I 
should be. What we can do is trails us in like <laughs> very noisy around here today. So once I've got this on, do the wraps. We're gonna kind of let that dry for a bit. Uh, I'll paint the rest of his leggings in like a a green, a sort of camo-y green. Uh, I'll be using the elven green, I think. And then uh, I'll come back when we're ready to do some washes. See you in a minute. Okay, so I used the Crusader Skin Speed Paint just to do the flesh tone. That works quite well actually. Now I'm going to use some soft tone. There's a dip in there, just to thin it out just a little bit. I'm using my army paint a regiment brush for this. And I'll try to get an old one of these when the tip comes. They're really handy for stuff like this. Yeah, all the browns. Including that. It's kind of quite a subtle shade, this one, especially if you water it down just a little bit. Gonna take it back off the uh on over the dapply effect then. Don't want to lose that. All I do is wash the brush out, left it a bit damp, wipe the uh, wash off. Can I have set? Just take off that grey. Okay. So that's about done. There we go. Look like green as well. That's that elven green. I think it's called elf green. Sorry, army painter. But say when I do the stills with this at the end, of the video I do a still of the uh, I'll probably a couple of stills of paints I've used rather than write them all out. Then you just pause the video and have a butcher's. Okay, so now. We've got enough of that on there. I'm going to grab my dark tone. The black. It's quite strong, this one. So, I'll 
get some of my medium in this. Just a brushful just to take the edge out of it. And then I'm just gonna pop it over the armour. And the way over there's that metallic. I found if you use that straight out of the pot, it does make it go very dark. And then you have to sort of dry brush over, back over the top. But that works as well. Depends what effect you're going for. Put on this song. I'm not going to dot each one. Okay, well, he's starting to look something now, isn't he? Well, the only other thing I did is I used that oak brown just to paint the base in. And I'll probably grab one of these greys in a bit and paint the stones. They're just little bits of slate I stuck on there. And so he's starting to get there now. So leave them dry. Then start working up some highlights. So I think we'll start on that red next. In a sec. Okay, so now we've got some pure red out. I'm just gonna walk that down a bit. I'm gonna start working the highlights in. So aim for those red sections. Oh. And spike the staffy awakes. Been quite lucky in this video so far. Not much snoring going on. Well, not from Spike. Hope you guys aren't snoring. Just keep working that. Working them highs. Okay. I want to keep these little sections short because this video is going to get longer and longer and longer and hopefully we can all just skip to the end to see the finished one and hopefully it's been speaking there for everyone I tried to concentrate a little bit on the horse in fairness so what I do is I'll work on all the highlights all these whites and take them up to a an off-white colour. I'm going to leave the horse as it is. I might do a little bit of highlight on the brown, but apart from that, I think we're done. May go back in and just highlight a little bit of the flesh. Okay, I hope that's helped out. Oh, I might do some detail around his cuffs as well. Maybe across the bombers cake. <laughs> it never ends, does it, chaps? This is the thing. I think we get these miniatures to a a point you're happy with and then uh, it's knowing when to stop. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much good enough. But I will carry on and I will take, I will not video any more of it though, but I will put it in the stills. So you can see I'm probably going to put a, a ready orange highlight on top of these and stuff like that. But I leave all the colours so you'll be able to work out from watching the video to what I've, what I've used. Okay, so hopefully, I've not been uh, counting up my minutes, but hopefully it's not too long. And 
have a look in the stills for the little extras I put on. Well, I've been Pirate Rich Paints. He's been Spike. And I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I think it's a ring the bell thing I keep getting got to tell people, but that helps me get seen on YouTube, which means good things. So we'll see you in the next one and have fun painting, guys.